We live in a global marketplace where you can buy something in country A that was made in country B using parts from countries C, D, and E. Or at least we used to. And then the coronavirus pandemic happened. The rapid spread of the COVID-19 pandemic wreaked havoc on global supply chains, leaving manufacturing hubs across the world in limbo, as even those that were still able to operate suddenly couldn't get the parts they needed from parts of the world where factories were shut. Korea, still a manufacturing hub and major exporter, was no exception. One of the first casualties here was the auto industry, with Hyundai Motor forced to shut down the entire production lines in February because it couldn't get the electrical cables it needed from China. The incident alarmed both the government and private companies, serving as a catalyst for a move to make Korean companies less reliant on foreign suppliers and production sites. The idea of localizing supply and production to Korea wasn't new. Restrictions put in place by Japan last year had already started a push to bring production of some materials to Korea, but almost overnight, Made in Korea suddenly went from a political slogan to a necessity. Taeyang Electric is the first and only Korean company to manufacture the pressure sensors used for car braking systems, primarily using its own technology. Taeyang Electric is a shipbuilding materials company, so we've been shipping out the original technology that has been used to develop automotive pressure sensors since 1997, and we were successful in localizing the production of pressure sensors used in ships since 2005. Using that technology, we successfully localized supplying the pressure sensors that are used in cars. Thanks to its production lines here in Busan and Incheon and the core chips developed at the site, the company's spokesperson said that there was no disruption caused by the coronavirus. X-ray equipment maker SEC also benefits from its manufacturing line in Suwon, Gyeonggi, as it experienced no shortage in parts during the pandemic. The company produces X-ray inspection systems that are designed to scan finished products in order to detect micro-scale defects of electronic parts. The system can analyze smartphone batteries and semiconductor products in just 30 seconds. The X-ray market was dominated by Japanese and U.S. manufacturers 20 years ago, but the company entered the market in 2002 and succeeded in developing X-ray tubes, a key part of the inspection system in 2006. 30 years ago, most automated machines were imported from Japan and Germany. Since then, we believed that we could also begin to localize our products. We thought about localizing the products that Korea is importing the most, and we found that Korea mostly imports industrial X-ray inspection systems. So we thought that if we localize these systems, the domestic demand will continue to increase. So we began our localization process in advance, so that it will be ready for us in the future. Previously, I thought that it was best if the materials were made in Vietnam and ultimately sold in Europe or in the United States. But as trading between countries has become limited, it will be proven that if just a few products get placed under certain regulations, there will be a great impact placed on its global value. Companies must consider the impact such regulations could have. They must have a backup plan, and certain production facilities must be localized to solve these problems. One day in a post-COVID-19 future, global supply chains will stabilize and people will begin to buy and sell material components around the world again. Yet Korea's push to localize supplies and bring manufacturing home is unlikely to disappear. The risk is just too great.